hot. It's not that hot. It's a little hot. What's it doing? Is it going or is it coming? Okay, we made it through customs and security and all that stuff. We are gonna try to find a place to sleep, and if we can't find one, we're gonna go to the city. This is the observation deck. You see all the different planes. We found a possible spot, but I'm gonna keep exploring. We decided to go to the city to find a Kaigatsu club. So last time before we left Japan a few months ago, we were making vlogs saying it was our last time in Japan. But now it's our, actually our last time in Japan. We have 19 hours. So onwards to a net cafe where we'll hopefully get some rest. And we realized that we left the laptop on the plane. So we're now panicking and just gonna have to hope they have it at the airport tomorrow. Oh, it's so quiet. Japan is so quiet. It's like we can hear it. We're blending into the morning rush. We got a vending machine drink, some ice cream tea. Not ice cream. Really refreshing on a hot day. Tuna mayo is the most classic onigiri. Clouds are great. My favorite home mini food. Mm. It's bite sized now, I just eat the whole thing. Oh. So, we're going to a famous shrine. The story behind the shrine is kind of funny. So, we were originally going to come here in April because they host like a massive parade here, but we missed it. And the parade is where they carry around the massive penis. So this is like a penis shrine. People usually only come here during the April penis festival. And so we're here at the shrine, the penis shrine, and we got like my favorite omamori ever. Look at it. Okay, we're gonna go pray to the shrine. This dick was erected in 1995. Hi, <laughs> will you touch it for me? Except I did. Oh my god! It's quite a sensitive part. It looked like there was a fire hydrant here, but instead it's just a red dick. Bro. Oh, Looking around these like wooden Emma blocks where people usually write like wishes and like other things. But there's a lot of interesting things in here. So first of all, there's these like really old ones. This one's like a vagina. And then there's like a dick yokai. And that's probably a vagina yokai. And there's like a lot of them. And then there's this painting, which is like a bunch of dick people on a boat. And a dick boat. <laughs> there's also a dick anvil right where Ally's standing. And behind this casino evil thing. There's a bunch of wooden dicks here too. Last but not least, there's some very explicit art here that I will have to censor because it is not appropriate. 
there's a lot of it. So we were just in the Inari Well, I'm getting bit area. right here, actually. Yeah, and the mosquitoes are no joke. Like, they're so massive. They just get you on your hand. I, I got a not... lot. I, yeah. I feel it. Overall, I rate this an 8 out of 8. Actually, that's it. This is my first time ever using one of these phone booths. And it's 10 yen per 10 minutes. They found our laptop. It's one of the hottest days and he's in this hot cubicle. After calling, found that they found our laptop, so very happy. We just need to go pick it up at the airport later today. And where are we going now? We're going to a temple and a park. All right, this is Kawasaki Daishu, the big Buddhist temple. The AC inside feels so good. Nice. I didn't get any recordings, but they had a very cool Buddhist ceremony in there with like chanting and fire and stuff, but couldn't record it. Really? Usually you walk down the shopping street and then you go to the temple, but for some reason we're always heading in from the back. So now we're exploring the shopping street, which is quite empty because it's like Monday in the middle of summer. It's like really hot. No one wants to be outside. But got some soft dough here. I finally got the soft dough that we've been dreaming of. I always say that the soft cream in Japan is the best in the world. And I always forget, but it's true. Eating this soft dough on a hot day in summer in Japan. It's gotta be one of those feelings. Like this is water bee mochi. It's a type of mochi, so it's made using rice, but it tastes more like jelly and it has like this cooling effect. It's really nice. There's a kinako, which is soybean powder, and it's Ali's favorite flavor. Ali was brave enough to go ask for the. I asked sauce. for black sauce. <laughs> yeah, because we don't know what it's called. <laughs> but it's really good. Yeah. We want the Bakari sweat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm actually cold now. I'm not good. Because I'm completely drenched. After our relaxing time at the park, we're now headed over to Onsen. Uh, like. Down, exit. Here somewhere. Kamata Onsen. Why is it? <sighs> You're relaxed now. Just finished taking the onsen. The black water was really hot. I think it was like 48, 49 degrees Celsius. I felt like my body was boiling in it, but it felt really good too. Yeah, this is the waiting room. Um, it seems like I came out before Alley, which is quite rare. We're headed towards the sushi restaurant and hopefully we have just enough time to make it to the airport for our connecting flight. Walking through a temple or a shrine to get to our sushi restaurant. <laughs> This is 
cutting so it's just like the egg of the crab. So this is Otoro, which is the deluxe fatty tuna. So like 1% of the tuna or something is this. It's kind of like eating shark fin soup. Very bad for the fish. Very good for us. This one's called Katsuo. This is like monkfish liver or something like that. This was Gansa Sushi, our last experience in Japan. Back to the airport we go. Our last kombini run. They have ice cream here. Here we are back at the airport. Let's go find my laptop. These are interesting, like matcha egg, matcha tamago. Here at a beef full restaurant. Yeah. Right, one of the reasons why we had to come here was just to have the raw egg again. So this is in hopes. This is our last meal. Meat. Eating beef. Uh -oh. Ever. Hopefully. We're draining all the money left on our IC cards. Mm -hmm. Our boarding time is 4.55. It is 4.07. And I believe security takes just 25 minutes on time. Oh, it says 5 to 10 minutes right now, so I think it's less congested. So I think we're good. Almost had a tie hand or a catastrophe happen. Yeah. Ali tried the automatic facial recognition and it said <laughs> transit only. And then I'm like, okay, it's not gonna work. And then we, like, what, what did you do? You asked a guy and interrupted him and he was didn't really speak English. And then there's a whole ordeal. And then we just tried it again and it worked. So we got the security. We're basically at the gate. Everything is settled now. It's time to go home. So, it's 4.35 and Ali is in the bathroom on the toilet. And judging by this conversation, she's trying to poo, but all she has is gas. This is me trying to remind her that we're running out of time. Asto Oni. Plan. My favorite too. This one's Ali's favorite snack. 